Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Your home equity. It could be an untapped opportunity instead of an untouchable asset. Introducing HomeTap. HomeTap is an investor, not a lender. They give you cash in exchange for a share of your home's future value. Use it to pay off debt, make renovations, fund a business, or just live a better life. There's no interest or monthly payments to worry about. HomeTap. Get more from home ownership. Get more from life. Subject to eligibility, terms and conditions apply. Visit HomeTap.com to apply in minutes. That's HomeTap.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. 7 in 10 parents are spending more on Halloween this year. And for one big reason is they want to make up for all of the other events that their kids have missed. Dads are the driving force behind this. Do something big. Make it look awesome. I want to get one of those big inflatable things. Yes. What kind? There's so many. Man, I don't know. Right now I'm still eyeing like something like the Mickey Santa one for Christmas. I'm like, I'm already like one holiday ahead, but I need to get something for Halloween. And Halloween's this weekend. And are you doing this because of, uh, of, of, of Tater Tot? Yeah, and me. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. I've always wanted one of those inflatables, man. There you go. That's what it is. Yeah, it's a little bit of both. Yeah. But we already dropped the ball. It's like we were trying to find certain costumes. We already got our costumes for Tater Tot and uh, and Lulu, but for Mom and Dad, we haven't found ours, and, and we're realizing that it's just going to be impossible to get something in time. So you're just going to just... Uh, we're just going to take pictures of them in their costumes and be like, yeah, Mom and Dad weren't available for these pictures when she grows up and looks yeah. at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, welcome to you know, welcome to you starting to see in your life where you go. I'm just we just for some reason we just you know we couldn't get it done for all of us, but we at least got you guys done. It just crept up on us too fast. That's what happens, yeah. man. That is what happens. It's uh, you know, you look back in your younger days and you realize things didn't creep up on you as much in your younger days. It was you were just lazy, but it didn't creep up on you. Like right. you, you guys had the desire, but you know, you're moving to new new house. You got all sorts of stuff going on. Next thing you know. Next oh, man. Halloween is this Saturday. What the yeah. hell are we going to do? Uh, so our kids, by the way, though, not the number one reason why people overspend on Halloween. More than half the people said they've gone over budget before. And the number one reason? Because it's the most amazing holiday in the entire world, of course. Yes. You got it. Yeah. See, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that's not the answer. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sir. Um, no, the number one answer is, is uh, the old keeping up with the Joneses. Yep. Oh, you want to like outdo oh, your neighbors? Yeah. Exactly. So it's like it, it started with the Christmas light war, and now we've gone to Halloween decorate. Uh, you know, I'm not surprised because some people do it up big with their decorations. Oh, yes, they do. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, and I'm going to miss this year, is uh, down in uh, uh, Orange County, Balboa Island, and Balboa Peninsula. They decorate those people because they got money because they got the big mansions over there on, uh, on the bay, and they decorate like a mo for Halloween. It's just, and it's awesome. I will say that, I mean, and I think you guys have probably noticed this too, the department stores have really stepped it up in terms of Halloween decorations the past couple of years. Like, every year we go out and do our Halloween mm-hmm. shopping a few weeks before, and there's just always new stuff that we want. So. I mean, even, like, even in places like Lowe's or Home Depot, like I just remember they have a couple things. Now it's just like, 
Holy smokes. Like yeah. They are just, I mean, it's almost like Christmas. Yes. They have their own form of lights. They have their own thing like you, you prop in your lawn and then shoot it up at the house to make like crazy yeah. visuals on your wall. Laser projectors, yeah. They have all that stuff now solely for Halloween, which it was never really like that. It was like maybe a handful of items, but now it's just insane. And it was all for indoor usually too. Yeah. Now notice. it's outdoor too. Yeah. Now it's all outdoor. Yeah, it's so great. I'm the indoor guy and I'm the, I, I, I have legitimately uh, tons of decorations for Halloween Thanksgiving as well. I'll ch- I'll switch them out. Like you know, uh, this coming Sunday, I will switch out my Halloween stuff and I'll put my Thanksgiving stuff out there. I'm mm-hmm. the kind of guy that right. I actually have different runners for Halloween, uh-huh. Thanksgiving, and for Christmas. So my wife likes having like a fall theme, then there's a Halloween, yeah. and then Christmas. So it's not really Thanksgiving doesn't get its own like do. Yeah, it's kind of the fall theme, if you ask me. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah, Thanksgiving definitely falls into it. Maybe, maybe you know, you bring out the cornucopia, Ooh, you bring that a, kind of stuff out. I need a giant inflatable turkey. Do they have? I'm that? actually looking at that right now. Are they really? have a bunch. Oh, yeah. there's the one I want. Yeah, that one. The oh. Jemmy inflatables turkey. He looks like he's drunk or stoned. Oh my god, he does. Right? Yeah. It's at Lowe's. It's probably a food coma, and it's only thirty bucks. Oh, yeah. yeah. He ate yeah. too much turkey, the turkey? Yeah, he did. Oh, wait. See, I'm really wanting nope. Snoopy with the Happy Thanksgiving sign. I kind of want to keep like a Snoopy theme. Like there's a Snoopy Christmas one. There's a Snoopy Halloween one. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. That'd be kind of fun. I, I, I like that idea. Oh, now, that'll, that'll kind of make the... Because we might have our family eating Thanksgiving at our house. We're not sure yet, but it might happen there. Oh, new How, house, new Thanksgiving. Boy, you guys are really quickly uh, right close to like not even having settled in. But you guys will be ready by Thanksgiving, you think? Oh, I got three more bar stools to put together. I think I'm going to do that today, and then I think we're good to go. All right, there you go. Go. I got one done yesterday, and I said, okay. screw it, I'm done doing this, too much screwing. What, what time should I show up? Uh, on November yeah, like, the, yeah, the Friday 30th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Show up then at like 6 p.m. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. 6 p.m.? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know what? I think I will, just to see what you'll look like. Guess who's not answering you know what? his door? I have a ring doorbell cam Oh, now, do you really? So I know who's at the door. I don't have to worry about Why it. Why don't you just invite me? Don't you understand? I'll have to use Google Maps, and I'll never get there. Remember, you're not on Google Maps. I'll <laughs> oh, never find right. you. Like, Google it, BJ. You'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah, don't I'll worry about it. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Speaking of But it'd be funny hours. if the family shows up and I have a giant inflatable turkey. Yes, that'd be great. Especially if it's Snoopy, if he's involved. Nice. Oh, yeah. So finally, the number two reason people do get going for Halloween is actually the kids. Okay, but it's not the number one. It is to keep up with the Joneses, the neighbors. But number two, yes, because the Halloween, at least the American Halloween tradition is for the kids. Yeah, I think about like in my old development, my buddy Eric, he used to like deck out his garage into like a haunted garage. So when the kids would go yeah. trick or treating and he'd have like he'd have beverages for the adults in addition to candy for the kids. Oh, yeah. And I just thought that was so cool. Yeah, I love those homes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, we're unfortunately a lot of us are not going to get to do that this year, and you know people just aren't going to be able to do it. And I feel badly for the folks that really look forward to decking out their places that way because it brings them a lot of joy. Yeah, I'm thinking like, weird thing about just getting a bag of candy just in case, but we don't per- expect that we're going to get like the influx that we used to get. Are you going to throw them at the kids? I mean, say you know for, for social distance. Um, I don't know what the hell we'll do. Maybe just like open the door, drop it on the porch, and fix. Like, all right, just drop it on the porch. <laughs> I know. You know it's, it's hard to know what to do. Yeah, what we're doing actually is we're setting up a table outside, and I'm going to put a little tray that's going to have the candies a little separated, and there's going to be some comic books as well, but we're going to put some hand sanitizer outside as well. I don't know how many people we're going to get, so we'll just be able to refill it or you know put some more out as we get more I kids. know. It's so weird. What if yeah. they take your hand sanitizer? Oh, thanks, buddy. Well, I guess then they get the hand sanitizer. I guess, I guess I'll have to stock up. Jeez. Yeah. See that? you got to be careful. They might think that's what you're giving them. Oh, Gosh, yeah. Right. Um, see, <laughs> other people, uh, how about this? People spend so much on Halloween, but they just do it in little bits and increments. They don't realize they've spent so much. That's why they have all this. They just go, I like this, I like this, but at different times. Mm-hmm. So that's the third reason why they spend so much. It all adds up. They don't know. Yeah, we think about like how, with, with the candy. Like It was like last year because we knew how many. We always get just, just slammed with people coming to our house back in the day. Before all this craziness has happened, and my wife would like every time she'd go grocery shopping, she'd grab a couple of bags so that way we wouldn't have to like purchase a ton of bags on one fell swoop. Yeah, and save some well, not save some money, but just save some of that sticker shock. And we're talking about why we overspend for Halloween. Number four is a sign of the millennial modern day Generation Z times is why Instagram, people, you are close, Danny. It's exactly what TikTok. it was. I mean, you are you're actually oh, right TikTok. on it. Social media. Social, okay. Exactly. The reason people do it is they want to impress folks on social media, so they go crazy with, with their Halloween spending. 
because they go, I just want to be able to post it on there. And people think, I'm the most awesome Halloween person ever. Well, you didn't do it if you didn't put it on Instagram, right? It doesn't really happen. Yeah. 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 Uh, one per- the, the, the number five reason is I didn't want to miss out on my friend's plans, like if someone threw a party and you had to buy a costume. So people just have one ready to go. I came so close to pulling the trigger and buying a Bob Ross costume yesterday. Oh, you should Why should've. didn't you? I mean, if you can't what do the... What is he going to do with it? Instead of dressing like nothing, you could have dressed like him. Trust me, there was, a, there was a part of me that was about to do that. Maybe I still will. I have no idea. Still but, sitting in the cart? You're not sure yet? Uh, no, I was at that Spirit Halloween store oh, yesterday. Gotcha. Oh, oh, wow. And we were just walking around, and one of the costumes I saw was just Bob Ross. I'm oh. like, oh, man, if I had the time, I would want to get a baby Bob Ross. And then, oh, not that, that probably would be cool. Tatum probably doesn't want to look back on her Halloween experiences where the, the, the one year where dad put her in a giant afro and beard. <laughs> yeah. But, you yeah. never looked better, kid. But what if you were Bob Ross and she was a happy little treat? Yeah. Next year's scheduled. There you go. <laughs> and, then that is a my great idea. Be a squirrel. Uh, and oh, she'll be okay. A happy little squirrel. A happy yeah. little squirrel. Yeah, looking okay. for some nuts. And then what the hell can Lulu be? Uh, she could be like the the paintbrush that gets angry and just bangs things. There you go. <laughs> well, because Lulu's a little aggressive. Yes, yeah, she is. Well, uh, you got it all planned out. You're yeah. ready to go. Well, this is how I want to do it. So I can't wait for you. Next year will probably still be like fairies and yeah. princesses and <laughs> yeah, whatever basically. else. Yeah. I can't wait for you to go to Petco. Can I have the uh, the angry little paintbrush dog costume? Do you got that? <laughs> I think you just showed me a picture of a family that did a whole Bob Ross theme. Where, yeah, see? Where one of the kids was like the little easel thing. Or, what is that? The paint? What? So she's the, the, the paint. Yeah, the palace. Yeah. Or the palace. Something like that. Yeah, Thank you. Little tree girl, happy yeah. little cloud girl. The little baby's a happy squirrel. Somebody already did it, buddy. Oh, that's all right. Doesn't mean it can't be done again. Inspiration. Oh, yeah, right. uh, yes. yeah. Do you think he's going to do it? He's not. He's not going to have any time. It's going to creep up on him. I don't think he's going to be allowed to do it. Yeah. That's the thing. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> You're yeah. welcome. I'm, I have no say in, in the, the baby costume world because I wanted her to be a giant avocado. And oh, my God. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I thought so, too. We could all be different, like, avocados. And that was shot down Please by High Command. Really toast. That would have been a good idea, yeah. Oh. No, she was more about like Peter Pan and Tinkerbell and things like that, which I get. Well, I think the avocado is a better idea. Thank you. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'd hate to agree with you on that, but I think you know what? I think uh, the so message is cute. Out. I think stupid. It's cute avocado. That's it's not cute stupid. stupid. That is really a baby in a costume is <laughs> That's always adorable. cute. Yeah. It's always I mean, the, cute. The Tinkerbell thing is so. Oh, Vicky like, just lost her mind. Yeah. Crying. Uh, it's so that cute. is fantastic. I'm sorry, Tinkerbell. We've seen. Yeah, uh, a little little girl and well, a little. Well, clearly people are seeing avocado because there's plenty of costumes out there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's that's what I'm saying. Avocado is the new Tinkerbell. I could be like a burrito bowl. Uh, but hey, you know what, buddy? Sure. <laughs> and with baby guac on the side. Yeah, a little yeah. baby guac <laughs> to wrap yourself up in some tin foil. I'm Chipotle. Yeah. That's <laughs> a great <laughs> idea. My child is seventy dollars if you want. <laughs> yeah, just like their guacamole. Yeah. She's extra. All right. We got uh, a lot of folks, as you know, that are working remotely these days. So even though people love working at home, they do miss some things about the office. And what do you think is the top thing that they miss about working at the office? I'm going to tell you at 817 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Your home equity. It could be an untapped opportunity instead of an untouchable asset. Introducing HomeTap. HomeTap is an investor, not a lender. They give you cash in exchange for a share of your home's future value. Use it to pay off debt, make renovations, fund a business, or just live a better life. There's no interest or monthly payments to worry about. HomeTap. Get more from home ownership. Get more from life. Subject to eligibility, terms and conditions apply. Visit HomeTap.com to apply in minutes. That's HomeTap.com. Hey, what's up, everyone? You find yourself trying to get your Craig Mac on and put some brand new flavor in your ear? Well, funny you should mention that because we have a brand new show that you should check out. It is called Pod Sauce. It is your podcast discovery show. Everyone's always looking for a podcast recommendation. We got lots of them for you, from true crime to pop culture. And you can join us each week as we dish on all of our favorite podcasts out there. So make sure you download the Odyssey app and search Pod Sauce or head on over to podsauce.com. We got you covered, guys. 
99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Got a new survey. Two-thirds of people who are working remotely right now say there are things they miss about the office. Got the top ten things they miss about the office. Of course, it's hard for us because we're here. We're spoiled. Uh, I mean, yeah. there are people. Spoiled? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Nothing works here. The vending machine's been empty for like a month and a half. A now month the and a half. Microsafe stopped working. Uh, <laughs> the oh, vending yeah. machine's been out for like three months, dude. Oh, dude, this has been a really weird yeah. time. <laughs> it's a tough time. Our microwave right. is still out. It's still broken. Yes. Oh yeah. Did we tell? Good. Is there anybody we're yes. supposed to tell? Oh, I told. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. good. All right, fair enough. Nice. Do we tell them that we're missing chocolate bars in the vending machine? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I mean, are they allowed to come into buildings anymore, the vending people? Who are they? Why can't they just leave it at the door? Yeah. <laughs> they should. Yeah. yeah. Leave it at the door and yeah. we'll load the machines oh, yeah. and we we'll promise to pay. pay. Yeah. Leave the keys, too. <laughs> I'm a man of integrity. That says a lot about you guys. Yeah, I'm not. I'll eat them chocolate bars. All of them. Well, that's why they should let me be in charge of it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm also... Steve, how come yeah. we still haven't had any? Don't yeah. you have the keys in that? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking came. about. It never came that day. Different type of payday. Yeah. Nice. Um, well, I think we can also... I mean, granted, no, none of these are us. See, my, yeah, mine is... we get to still work here. Mine, if, and it's, it applies to us, too, because no one else is coming in. But even if like we were working from home, it's the free food. People yep. just bring free food all the time, and without anyone coming into the office, oh, no yeah. one brings free food. I do miss our coworkers that bring us free food. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah, a really yeah, good yeah. point. I don't miss. The I still free miss food. that one engineer guy. He used to, you know. Yes. Oh yeah, oh, that, that, that was way Friday. back in the day. Donut every, Friday. Every Friday was a fantastic time, and then miss you, Matt. I don't know what happened, Matt. <laughs> I don't understand. I think if the company realized how important your donuts were, I think they would have realized, okay, whatever we got to do, we got to figure this out because yeah. the donuts. Maybe even more than that Donut guy. Donut Friday. Yeah. Well, being face-to-face with other people, the number one thing that people miss about going to work. Mm. I mean, we're face-to-face with each other, but I, I mean, I will look. I like having the building empty, but I also do miss the people that we work with because there's some people that are really fun that, that do work here. So it's, it's a bittersweet thing for me. Mm. Yeah, you walk around the halls like most of the time, and your daughter had to go chase you down to get you back on the air, but you were just down the other end just talking with everybody. That's right. And so I I do miss that. And that's number two on the list. Office banter. People missing that. Hey, just as a quick update. According to our textures, the vendors at my work still come. I get snacks all the time. Another person at the vending machine company. I work for one. And we're allowed in. We're allowed into buildings. You need a better vending machine company. What the heck? Like me, Brandon, for Bremerton. (laughs) Hey, Brandon, I'll tell you what. We'll Brandon, do, well, you're hired. Send your number. We'll t- Danny, send your number. Danny, send it to uh, the people. Because well, he texted us. We have his number. Oh, good call. All right, then. Get his number to the people because then this is a travesty. Why yeah, isn't our vending machine filled? I'm sure we have a contract with a company that we can't just like all of a sudden just bring. Hey, we're using your vending machine. We filled it with someone else's. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to eat this out of here. Just get the machine out? Well, yeah, right through the window. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, like, you know, right when you have a window. company go bring you a mattress, they take the old mattress. Yeah, exactly. Just throw it out the window. Brandon, I mean, you need a vending machine that's empty? We really are the bosses now because the bosses don't come in anymore. Right. So, like Lord of the Flies, good God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We can redecorate and everything. There's, no such, there's no such thing as a contract if they're not bringing the candy and the contract is broken. Very good point. Until I see a payday bar in there, <laughs> we're done with you. One yeah. payday. That's right. Just one payday is all we need. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how about this? How about people say they miss being able to just ask a question out loud and not having to send a message? Oh, well, I feel like most of us just handle everything through email. I don't know. I'm not missing that. Not yeah, missing that. Also, sometimes if things don't get done, then it, there's some some coworkers that will pull the old. I never said that, but if you do it over email, it's like, well, actually, I have proof that you said that. Oh, yeah, I like that. Well, sometimes you got to make sure someone's accountable. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes. Like the vending the people. Like the vending people, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. If I had something on an email that said that you were guaranteed chocolate bars forever, I could pull that out. See, I'm hoping someday they bring back that old company that where we used to have the get just take stuff, you know, the, that market we had. Oh, the Avanti market. Because I still have money on that. <laughs> right? I charged up a bunch because you got to charge up your little 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 tab. So just, we just need to find someone who has one of those in their building and you could at least Oh, I'm waiting. I still have my tab on my thing. I'm going to go in there and scan it and get the rest of my money back. Avanti's got like 50 bucks of mine. Because I figured, oh, I'll charge this up and go get stuff anytime I want. And then they go, then I walk in one day and it's gone. I'm like, what? That'd be so funny if you went into some random person's workplace that has the Avanti market. You don't know anyone in there and you just purchase $50 worth of stuff and leave. If you're like, who was that guy and why did he just leave with all those like cups of soup and 
frozen cheeseburgers and ice cream bars. That man you, is you, stealing you know, our burrito. You find me a place, Steve. I will make that happen. I want my money. <laughs> so I'm going to get my stuff. I'm, you, you, you tell me who's got an Avanti market. I'm going to their workplace. I'm doing it. I saw a buddy who works at a competing radio station, though, that's not in this building. Yeah. If you go visit him, he's got the Avanti market. Oh, oh I, I'll fancy. get the invite. I'll take the tour. And then, then before they even know it, they're all going to be Avanti <laughs> cleaned out. they be like, why is BJ in our building? And why is What's he going on here? He's why is a competitor. He, why is he taking the canned chicken? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. He stole the tuna packets. What does this mean? <laughs> oh, man. People say they they miss working in a team. Uh, why they you know not going to the workplace? Um, I guess being on a Zoom team not the same thing. Yeah, okay. I don't think so. It's just awkward. I mean, Zoom meetings are. It's better than nothing. It's better than like a like a phone conference call because at least you could see each other and play off of each other. But I don't think it, it, it it's anything like being in a conference room with a few people just kind of bouncing ideas. Do you still have to do a meeting every week? No. Thankfully. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, but I mean, I have to do a meeting every week, for, but it's not the meeting that you're, you're talking about. I, uh, I have a million meetings, but the one meeting I do a week is via Zoom, and it's quick. Yeah. So it's not that bad. That's not bad. People say they miss their desk. They miss your desk. Yeah. Would you miss your desk if you were, weren't here? I mean, would it be oh, like a real sad this, thing for you if you couldn't go to your desk? There's not been a moment in my life when we're on vacation where like, I just want to get back to my desk. I'm wondering if it's like if you're at home, I've seen like some of my friends just have to set up in the dining room and then they have their kids all over the place wanting to get on the computer and everything. And the idea of having your own desk, it's your own space. No one else is messing True. with it. Well, in theory. So I think that might be why they, they missed their desk. There is no I way. Miss my, my Aquaman Funko pops sometimes though when I go home. Aww. Oh, that's on your desk. Yeah. I have to say, man, there is no way that if my kids were, you know, little kids. And this happened during my, you know, during, if this happened during when I was a younger parent, I would lose my damn mind if I had to work from home. No, that's uh, a big yeah, issue. It's I pretty guess. amazing that people are doing this. Some people, like they say that's the hardest part about working at home is just they're constantly distracted by their children. Yeah. And I grew, you know, at least when I was parenting, you were allowed to be a little bit meaner to your kids. <laughs> and, I mean, you know, it was, it wasn't considered like, you know, wrong to do to, to yell at your kids every once in a while. And when, you know, I mean, I, it, 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 that would have been happening. And of course I would feel horrible because I would have been a lot more of a jerk of a parent because the stress of having to try to do a job mm -hmm. while the kids are just doing what they do, being little kids. Yeah, that's tough. Oh, good news, someone. Since I work for Avanti, you can call customer service. They will refund your money to your card, BJ. I want the tuna packs. All right, then how about this text? Shoshana says, <laughs> I have an Avanti market at the DHL in Renton. Just come on over and get some Cheez-Its. Woo! The system works. Also, I like how you went with tuna packs as your choice. Yeah. Oh, I love those. Not the donuts or no, any I of the was, sweets? I was trying to be good. That's I, why Avanti was great. They had those little tuna packs. No, Avanti was great because they had White Castle burgers at ours. Remember that? I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. That's and awesome. They almost got, they were like, we, were, we only, I was the only person I think that was eating them, so they kept restocking it. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, usually we just stop stocking the White Castle burgers because no one gets them. I'm like, no, please keep doing it. It's just like a taste of awesomeness. Oh, they, had, they had the Mrs. Freshly's cupcakes too, which you know I love better than other cupcakes from uh, snack companies. Yeah, all oh, that's gone now. People say they miss hearing office go gossip. That's the thing they miss about being at the workplace. So we still have the petty people that like to go to work and gossip about everybody. I'm never one that really jump in on gossip stuff, but like every once in a while, like someone will share something. I'm like, okay, that's pretty juicy. I like listening to. It. Like, I mean, it's like you know, you as much as you don't want to be the person that's getting involved in someone else's gossip, and I don't want to change my opinion on someone, but someone will be like, did you hear what this person did with that person? I'm like, no, and then you hear it, and you're just like, wow, that's pretty. That's like straight out of like the stereotypical office, you know, yeah, romance BS. I always am the last one to know those things. You guys, oh, yeah. I, I always say to you guys, hey, did you hear about this and this? And you guys go, oh, like, yeah. we knew that six months ago, man. Damn it. They're already broken up. They're on to this other guy in sales. And you guys never tell me anything. I don't know why. Is it because you're afraid I'll say something? Yes. On the air, yes. yes. Oh, that's Absolutely. A good call. That's a good call. Yeah, all right, fine. Yeah, you're not good at that. <laughs> People say they miss their chair. <laughs> you know what? I mean, Actually, office, some of our office chairs are pretty good. This chair is really nice. And I've just got, I mean, I've got chairs that I've taken from the office i was allowed to take them but uh they uh aren't really yeah, uh, great anymore yeah well that's when you're allowed to take the office chairs and they're not that great anymore yeah yeah i know we're gonna throw this one away rev do yeah. you want it basically and i was like yes i would love this and then it uh, the whole little thing where it was okay. supposed to keep you going up and down it just would always go down yeah there you go yeah not great uh people say they miss catching up about other people's weekends 
Like, how was your week? You know how people say, how was your weekend? Usually you just say good. There are people that go, I really enjoyed that part just of my office experience. Facebook. Right? No, I'm thinking it's something <laughs> else, man. Like, cause when Sarah, Yeah, Sarah and I'd be like, well, before COVID, it'd be like, girl, guess what I did this weekend? Who I banged? Oh, you know, as a status update on your Facebook. No. Yeah, that makes sense. You get all that juicy gossip. So it's a gossipy weekend update. It's like, girl. All right. Okay. Oh, I thought it was more like a, like a, a chance for someone to flirt with a coworker. You know what I mean? Ooh. How was your weekend? Maybe mm-hmm. next weekend will involve me. <laughs> Whoa. And then HR gets involved. Yeah, that was creepy. When? Maybe I was talking with HR about this. When did that ever work for you? <laughs> Not for me. This is all hypothetical. How was your weekend? Maybe the next one it can be with me and even better. No. Okay, I'll go to the office now. This is not me. I'm just saying hypothetically. Not two you. People. Where, where, hypothetically. Where would you get that idea that I'm going to be on this maybe list? Couple, I was watching the sexual harassment video our company made us watch, and it seems falls right in line. Do you know that everybody That's in that video is not in a good mood? <laughs> I mean, really, is it because it's sincere? Here's Steve. Should I just call everybody Steve? That's the bad guy in that video. Might as well. <laughs> well, maybe it's like a spark between a two coworkers, and they, they look forward to seeing each other on Monday, so they can kind of catch up on their fun weekend and flirt with each other. I wonder if anybody, because this looks like I we have, guarantee you, there's people out there that do that. But we have a we uh, going back to the uh, sexual harassment video. They never mention our company like the actors never do. So I bet there are other people that have the same video that are shown. Oh, absolutely. So I'm wondering, you know, if everybody knows the people because there's always because Steve, you were all over that video. Like every time you can tell. When Steve was about to come in the room I'm and not- talk to a coworker, and she's like, "I am uncomfortable now." That is such BS. I would never give someone a neck rub. <laughs> not even me. No. He is, no all right. I mean, every I there's always walk in and be like, "You look stressed. Let me put my hands on your neck." <laughs> I have to say this That's though. True. I mean, <laughs> if it were if it were reversed and some of those women were offering me a neck rub, I mean, who turns it down? Because a lot of those women seem really nice. You know what I mean? I'll turn it down a harpy at work. Well, I mean, if if you're not married, still. Oh, you won't get a neck. I'll get a neck rub anywhere I can. Those are awesome. No, it wouldn't be worth the headache. Well, I mean, if it was if it was legit, like if you could do it and not be pissed off. Okay. I mean, the idea is this. The idea is that, obviously, you don't want to offend anybody in the workplace. My attitude is is that, you know what, look, if somebody was a troll coming over, I don't want them bothering me. But, I mean, you know, the guy that's sliding into everybody's DMs, like the old guy, I don't think that anybody wants that old guy talking to him. You know what I mean? As soon as that poor woman sat at the table, I'm like, you need to get out of that table. Nothing good. <laughs> that guy's an old creep. I can tell you this right now. He's an old creep. Get out of there. But he has strong hands. Yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. Some of those guys you can see coming down the street in that video. You know what I mean? Who's going to even talk to these people in the video? They just look like creeps. <laughs> Is that too soon? All right, sorry. I learned a lot, though. So it's just some reason why people missed out of their workplace because they don't get to see their work wife or work husband. That's a really good point. I mean, there are work spouses, no doubt about it, and pretty, I mean, pretty non-physical, intimate work relationships. Right. And I can see people missing those. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Uh, some people, <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. People really miss their printer. Okay, now we're just like, well, we're just running out of ideas. Well, that makes like, sense. I miss, I miss the plant in the hallway. No, because a lot of people, I don't have a printer at home, and sometimes I need to print a document, and I, I don't, don't have one. And I'm like, oh, I got to go to work. Spend 20 seconds. It's hey. 20 cents. Hey, I don't have a plant in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know what I really miss is that toilet paper roll in the second stall in our bathroom. <laughs> really, just the toilet paper just flows right out of it. It's stupid, man. This whole thing is stupid. Oh, now, oh, the whole thing is stupid. Printer? Oh, man. I missed wow. the printer. Uh, how about going on walks with coworkers during your lunch break? <laughs> That's <laughs> on the list. I what miss picking was? flowers with Danny. All right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah. All right, fine. Apparently, you just don't understand well, some the people in the workplace. Okay. I, I can't, but I, I bet people do miss like their lunch breaks with each other. You know, you go, you, that's your chance to catch up with each other. You walk on out and get yourself like maybe like a roast beef sandwich or something. <laughs> oh, roast beef sandwich. <laughs> that's a very oddly that. specific lunch break. I don't know, dude. Yeah. Me and Rev had a conversation literally this morning about mm-hmm. how he loves the bathroom here. Pardon me? I love the, like, seriously, like, the bathroom here is, is fantastic. Happening? I would rather poo here than anywhere else except for oh. my house. Legit conversation. It's the flowing toilet the paper. Bidet. It's got to be the toilet paper, man. It comes out quick. If we would have had a bidet here, I would always poo here. He would drive 40 minutes from Tacoma I to go poo here. Absolutely would. I don't really even want to know about this. What is so great? I've used the bathrooms here. It's nothing special. It's a safe place. 
Huh? Safe place of, for what? You think you in the middle of a war zone? Is, is some tiger no. going to attack you? But well, you're you're okay here. A A. Oh. If there's any issues, I don't have to clean uh, up anything because there's people who clean it every night. And B. Yeah. If there's like if I'm driving through Seattle at some point and I need to make a pit stop, I'm going to stop here and go to the bathroom because it's a place that I know and I'm familiar you're about. Familiar with it. Yes, and I know exactly where it is. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to ask anybody. I can just use my key card and go through, and it's private. There have been times in the weekend we've popped in here, my wife and I, because she's like, you know, says so like the, the bladder of like a pebble. Yeah. And so like, you know, it's like, okay, well, we got that 40 minute drive back to Puyallup. She's like, well, I need to hit the bathroom before we go anywhere. And I'm like, well, stop at work. Yeah. At least we know where it is and we don't have to worry about like you walking into a random restaurant. And it's Boom. a safe place. It's a safe place. You will not be attacked by any strange creatures. Wild animals are not allowed in our bathrooms. Yeah, they don't I, have a key card. The most disturbing part of this whole conversation is the Rev says, that way I don't have to clean up the aftermath. It's like, what? Yeah, I, just, I tried to gloss over that part. <laughs> My yeah. God, it's like, what are you doing in there? Are you having fights with something? There have oh, been issues in the past. It must be the, all the animals that are attacking you. I feel like we, we might need to buy, get Christmas gifts for the janitors here. Yeah, yeah I never that's even a thought fact. about the rev. Yeah, just and leave him a twenty space. on the door. It'll be yeah, fine. that guy. By the way, that janitor has always worn a mask, even long before COVID coming in to clean us up. Rev in his city space. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yesterday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. Nice. Saint Petersburg, Florida, is named after a city in what country? Um, France. No. Uh, Mexico. No. Africa. No. Oh. It's hard to believe that we, red-blooded Americans, named one of our cities after a place in Russia. I'm, I'm going to move. I'm out. You want a shot at beating Steve? You got a 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 847 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another question from a listener. I'm getting my wages garnished. Can bankruptcy help with that? Absolutely. Uh, one of the big reasons people file bankruptcy is because they have a judgment or a lawsuit against them or their wages are getting garnished uh, and so they can't pay their bill, other regular ongoing bills. People sometimes think that you can't file bankruptcy once they have a judgment against them or once a garnishment start, has started, and that's not true. Filing bankruptcy will immediately stop any garnishment that you have going except for child support uh, and stop your creditors from continuing on with garnishments of your bank account, your wages, um, and in most cases will discharge that liability uh, through the bankruptcy process. And we can file a bankruptcy case uh, for you usually the day you come in. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Your home equity. It could be an untapped opportunity instead of an untouchable asset. Introducing HomeTap. HomeTap is an investor, not a lender. They give you cash in exchange for a share of your home's future value. Use it to pay off debt, make renovations, fund a business, or just live a better life. There's no interest or monthly payments to worry about. HomeTap. Get more from home ownership. Get more from life. Subject to eligibility, terms and conditions apply. Visit HomeTap.com to apply in minutes. That's HomeTap.com.